Hello, Divi Machine 3.0 is out. This is a video just to go through some of the new features and some of the stuff you may not have seen. It is quite a big update, uh, so we re recommend using a staging or development website. Uh, we've released a beta version and we've done some testing ourselves, so it should be okay, but always do on a staging dev site. So the biggest thing with machine uh, with uh, Divi Machine 3.0 is the integration of the, of uh, the Ajax filters with Body Commerce and the standalone Ajax filter. So the idea is they all share the same code. So when we make some improvements for machine, Body Commerce will also have that, and vice versa. And then the standalone plugin is the, like the glue in the middle that links the two together. And you can use that by itself if you want. So this is where a lot of our legwork has gone into and why this update's taken quite a while because we've had to make sure it's it's working well. Uh, so we've spent a lot of hours making it work well and I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with it. But let me run through some of the new features other than the Ajax filters that you can have a look at. So the first thing I want to go through is the multiple pins. So by this is the, I'll guess, our map 2.0. We had map 1.0, which was just one pin. So now you can have multiple pins on a map based on the listings or the posts that you have. So in our case, we have these cars. And in case you're new to machine, this isn't car specific. You can use it for anything, you know, uh, real estate, uh, events. So you could have events and you could have the, the listings on the map for events. Anyway, so let's check out how we can do this. So the first thing you need to do is to go into Divi theme options and add the Google, Google API key. We talk about this in 1.0. Uh, I'm not going to show you that settings because you'll see my API key and I just wanted to, but anyway, regardless, you just add your API key, make sure it's got the map API, the geolocate API and the places API. You can see advanced custom fields for that. Okay, so then once you've done that, go to uh, machine settings. Let's leave that for now. And then here, go to. Uh, let me just disable this uh, debug mode. That's it. debug mode is if we ask you to do that. So go to the uh, module overrides, and then here, select your advanced custom field. Type that is a Google Map and select your post type that, you, that you're using. If you haven't checked out, check out 1.0. It'll explain this more in detail. So now you have, in the theme builder, you have all your cars, for example, and you have your Google Map or your Divi Map module added to the page. But how does it populate all the pins? So in the archive loop module, scroll down to element options in here we need to select has map okay what this will do is this will then know where it can talk to to update the map based on what what you filter so click on has map yes map selector so here you need to add a custom class or ID to your map module so over here I've added an ID called filtered map I could equally add a class but let's just add add, add ID for now then in, in this uh, element options, we're going to add the selector. So in our case, because it's RD, we're going to do hashtag filtered map. And then now we know that the archive loop will then talk to this map to update it. We're then going to create a pop-up, which when they click on the map, it'll pop up with some more information. I've just done something really basic for now, which is just the title and an image. So in here you basically just create a uh, in the Divi library you create a layout and in the layout I've just called it map pop-up and in here I've just added a post title and a thumbnail. So in the theme builder you just and then you select your tooltip uh, layout. Okay, so once you've done that, 
click save and then make sure you in all your cars you go down and you add your pin where the, where, where the location is so here we have our cars I'm going to reload this page and we can see okay here's I haven't done all the cars I've only done some of them so you can see here they're all pinned on the map we can click on there we can see the BMW there is no image for that as you can see over here we can see the Audi Jeep Cherokee Z4 um, now let's say I want to fil filter the car by two doors it will then update the map to I've only added two the two cars, the Z4 and the Mercedes. If I uncheck that, it will then bring back all the pins. So that's the first major thing we've added. The second thing is a modal pop-up of the post. Uh, of the post. So this is, uh, you click on, let's just go to cars. Okay, so we Ajax, okay, I'll just show you what it is first. So it's this, where you can pop up the motor of the cars and flick through and you can see all the different cars. So there's two things we've done here. We have Ajax loaded, which means we've loaded it behind the scenes. So therefore it reduces the load impact on the load. So if you think about it, if you have 20 or 30 posts, in our case cars loading twice because you're going to be loading this motor as well they can end up making the load time really slow so we've Ajax loaded them all in which is more work for us <laughs> potentially could cause more support work for us but we think this is the best way forward because it will really save you time when loading the page so how do you do this okay so we all know how to create a archive loop we all know that you need to create a custom loop layout so in our case the um, in our case we create one called loop layout loop layout let's just check that there are so many different layouts that I've kind of been testing with on here so <laughs> excuse it oh second page Loads of layouts, loop layout. There we go. Okay, so in here you need to have the view post module. Okay, I've added the view post module. In there, in the view post module settings, there's a new setting called show post in module. Enable that. Then select your loop layout or your modal loop layout. And this effectively is like the same with the maps and same with this. It's the layout that will show when it, when it pops up in the modal. And then we have modal styles. So there is a center and we also have a side style, which is very much like our website. I haven't made it look pretty or nothing for you now. So, um, yeah, so bear with me while just... There we go. See, so you see it's opens up on the side. I've only just added a thumbnail, title and view post. So from there you can go through to the to the page. So that's a, you know that's the side one and then you can also have in the middle and you can uh, do more things like so this is where our settings comes into play. You can do more things. Change the modal background, change the clothes icon, color. You can also enable or disable the previous and next post options and then choose the icons and color as well yeah so so that's kind of where we are with um with that so that's that's a really exciting new feature uh, that we've added uh, what else have we added we've also added an advanced custom field a new a new type called uh, phone number so we've made this pretty pretty bland pretty basic at the moment uh, so if we go here when I say basic we haven't done much checking for phone numbers because it's different in all different countries so we didn't want to kind of do some checking and you know checking if it's a real number and then it kind of causes issues 
But uh, if you, yeah, basically there's a new type called phone number. And the reason why we've added this is because then when you do phone number and then you type in the phone number, we will then link it. So when they click on it, it will then open up the number on the phone, which is pretty cool. The other thing we've added is the ability to populate, much like we've done with the map module, ability to populate the countdown module with uh, a date. So here we basically just create an advanced custom field, pick date picker field. I think I should just show you just so you can get an idea. Okay, here I've added one a date picker called date. Then in my settings, I choose that, choose the post type, and then when I add that date on like the single page, for example, it will then show the countdown. Particularly useful when doing for events or, or other situations like that. Uh, we've also added other things. I'm just going to kind of run off a list. I'm going to look at this screen because I have a list over here. There's quite a few other things that we've added. Uh, the ability to exclude categories from the archive loop module. We've added settings for the gallery module to change the number of thumbnails on tablets and mobile so it's quite nice because at the moment you know you'll have like maybe one five thumbnails shown on desktop and only two on mobile for example you can alter that uh, so the other thing we've also added was for the linked post types in the past you had to i'm just gonna show something quickly oh I'll just add it in here so in the in the past if you wanted to show a linked post type you had to choose a custom layout for the linked post type and then then from there you can show the thumbnail the title and etc from a linked post type okay for example you have a car and you have a dealer so you may, you, you want to link the car to the dealer and you want therefore you want to show the dealer's logo the dealer's name on like a single page for example so here you can do that with this feature we've we've added just so you can show as a comma separated list so say you just want to you have i don't know let's say you have an event and you have five six seven different speakers and you just want to show it as a list rather than having to pull in a custom loop layout with their image with their I don't know, date of birth or whatever you want to do. If you just want a comma separated list that would link to the to the the single page of that speaker, for example, yeah, we can just add this in the relational field settings. We've added stuff like making the the search and reset side by side with, with the filter. We've also added a new setting for the filter module where you can you can add a button on mobile. So it's under mobile options. You can enable whole toggle filter. So what this does is on, let's just see if it is enabled here. There we go. So on mobile, we hide the filter. You click on that, it expands and hides, expands and hides. Now, bear with us. We're going to be adding loads more options. We're going to add an, a, new, a new one that's going to slide in we're going to expand more on this. This is the first stage of optimizing the filters for mobile. So here you can see this expands. Now, the other thing we're going to, we're doing is let's see if, if I, yeah. So you can see how it scrolls down on mobile. So I make a I make a filter change, and then it should scroll down to the cars. Boom, there. So that's another thing we've added. For mobile and where you can do that is here you go scroll to section after Ajax update so if you don't want to scroll to a section just disable that if you want to scroll to a section after the update enable that when to use scroll to so desktop tablet and mobile desktop only tablet and mobile mobile only where do you want to scroll top of posts 
top of order bar, top of filters. So filters, order bar, posts. And then you can fine tune it exactly. So the, I'll fine tune it to be 141. So when it scrolls on mobile, it's going to go just above there. Now, if I wanted to go up a bit more, I could, or down a bit more, I could fine tune in pixels based on where I want to scroll. So I think that's quite a, it's quite a nice user experience when on mobile clicking there. Oh, how do you know if it's updated? Well, it'll scroll down to the section after it's been updated. Okay, so that is... The other thing we've added is uh, for the filter module in here in the filter itself in category tag custom text attribute filter options here we can say okay there's two options here the first one is hard empty options so this is if let's say you have loads of categories and one of them is empty this doesn't mean not available on the page this means empty there's no post assigned to it you can hide it the other thing you can do is only show available options what this does is it will uh, so for example on this page when I load it let's say I, I don't have any of saloon I have no saloon cars on the page it will then hide it it won't show it as an option this only works with the category tags custom tax attribute filter options it only works with the categories tags custom taxonomy and attribute filters okay so that's another another nice option so you just minimize the options for the customer we've done things like add alt and tag alt and title tags to the gallery and the thumbnails uh, we've added a we've, yeah, we've just I think it's best to just have a look at the change log there's so much we've added there's things like uh, when you want to let's say you want to have let's say you want to link each layout to a single page you can open it up in a new tab now there's 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 we've just added so much so but those are the main kind of things that I wanted to talk about was uh, yeah, what was those? So we have the map, we have the pop-up modal that you can flip through, we have the new phone top, we have, uh, we can use the timer, the, the Divi timer mod, uh, or countdown module, uh, we can, the gallery, which you can change the slides, the modifications on mobile to filter the modules and, and scroll down if you want to scroll down, that's just, that's not just for mobile, the scrolling. Uh, and just in general improving the Ajax filters and the plugin as whole and we're only going to make it better so yeah we just thank you all for sticking with us and well not for sticking with us but we just thank you all for supporting us and and loving the plugin as much as we love it so I hope you I hope this video has been helpful and I just hope that you yeah you love it as much as we do just please, if you can, create a staging or a development website to update it because we've changed the code so much. We can do testing, but with web design, it's just so it can be so different the way people set up different websites. So staging tests are development websites on major updates is advised. But that's it. Uh, I may have missed some stuff. If I have, I apologize. Check the change log. It's, it's pretty big. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And stay safe during this pandemic. Have a great day and speak soon. Cheers, bye.